what's up you guys, it's Judy here with My Life as Geek Eye. On this channel I create videos on product reviews, makeup tutorials and lifestyle advice with the aim to entertain, educate and enrich the lives of others. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Today's video is going to be a video of me sharing another part of my makeup collection and this time it is my Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes. Now I feel the amount of eyeshadow palettes that I have from Juvia's Place does warrant me to be able to uh, make a whole separate video on them because I have all of these from Juvia's Place. Now these aren't all of the eyeshadow palettes that they have come up with. I have been wanting to get my hands on the Afrique palette and the Warrior 2 but those are two palettes that I have not yet been able to purchase simply because I and broke so <laughs> those are two that I won't be sharing with you today but other than those two palettes I'm pretty sure that I have all the others that they have come out with so if you want to see the eyeshadow palettes that I have from Juvia's Place I'm going to do a full swatch of every single palette that I have and maybe this video can help you decide which eyeshadow palette that you'd like to purchase then this video might be helpful to you especially coming up to the holiday season where you might be looking for a suitable Christmas present for a friend or a loved one someone who loves makeup and uh, yeah you definitely can't go wrong with these Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes. And I will also give you a little bit of a rundown on each and every color and every shade name that I have. So it's going to be a bit of a long video. Before I get into the swatches of each of these eyeshadow palettes, it's also very important to remember that sometimes Juvia's Place does bundle deals of each of these eyeshadow palettes. So for example, you might get six different eyeshadow palettes. This one, the Magic, the Nubian, I don't know exactly the combination of palettes that they have in each bundle. But it's definitely worth checking out the bundle offers that Juvia's Place has has on their website because you do end up saving money on each of the eyeshadow palettes if you buy it in a bundle form and also it is a great holiday gift idea to buy one of those bundles and you can give one to each of your friends and you save money overall and on top of that it's not hard to find coupon codes and discount codes floating around the internet where you can save money on each of these eyeshadow palettes from Juvia's Place as well so that's just something to keep in mind that you can buy these things in bundle form. So if you want to see full swatches and little reviews of each of these Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes, then just keep on watching. So the first eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be swatching for you today is the Masquerade palette. As you can see, this one comes in two forms. There is the larger one and then the smaller one. Now, if you're like me and you're extra, then you might want to go and buy two eyeshadow palettes and keep one for yourself. <laughs> but I went and bought them both for myself because... I, I just wanted to. So this is the larger one. As you can see, it's still brand new and unused, but the pan sizes in these are definitely a lot larger than the Masquerade Mini. So these are the eyeshadow palettes in comparison. This is the one that I have been using simply because it, it, I just wanted to use the smaller one first, but this is what the big one looks like. As you can see, it's quite dirty. I have used this eyeshadow palette a fair bit. Another really important thing to note is that sometimes these pigments can stain your eyelids. So definitely lay down a base first so that the pigments have something to stick on other than just your skin. But that just goes to show how pigmented these colors are. So I'm going to do a little bit of a swatch for you. The shade Chi, Molly, Dahlia, Zola. Makeda, Zobo, Calabar, Bori, Giza, Burkina, Cairo, and Ada, Dahia, Zulu, Casablanca, Fulani. Excuse the little uh, elbow there. <laughs> So as you can see, these shades are extremely pigmented. Some of them are a little bit choppy and patchy, but that's simply because they are so pigmented, you really have to blend them in. All of these colors are simply one swipe of them from the pan onto my hand. And I have used this eyeshadow a fair bit, so I can tell you from absolute experience that these eyeshadows from Juvia's Place blend really beautifully into the crease. They are extremely pigmented. There is a fair bit of fallout simply because they are so pigmented, but then all you have to do to remedy the fallout is to do your eyeshadow first before the rest of your face and then do your foundation base afterwards so that any fallout that you have doesn't mess up your base your foundation. Also, before I go any further, guys, I do want to apologize for the state that my hands are in. I do work in hospitality, so the state of my hands and my nails are atrocious. So yeah, that's great. Love that for me. I'm not a beauty guru in the way that I always have perfectly manicured nails because honestly, they would just get ruined with the work that I do. So just don't mind that. 
The next eyeshadow palette is the Magic palette. Now this one also comes in a mini version like the Masquerade palette. So it's kind of the same deal where you can get the exact same shadows just in a miniature form. I don't have that palette today. I only have the large one here. If I have any makeup looks that I have created using any of these eyeshadow palettes, I will also edit those photos into the video as I'm going along so that you can see the different eye looks that you can get out of each eyeshadow palette. Nubia, Zakia, Osun, Kesi, Zuba, Nana, Baranu, Kogi, Faso, Aja, Vai, Yemoja, Ife, Yara, Buzo, Yejiri. So this is the magic palette. As you can see, they have a whole range of warm colors here and then they have a whole range of cool tone colors here. So there is an absolutely beautiful color family here. If you mix and match some of these colors together, it could also make a really beautiful eye look. But these colors here together and these colors here together comes to a very magical beautiful color family. And as you saw, they swatch so beautifully, I just suck at swatching. <laughs> The next one is the Nubian by Juvia's Place. This is probably the only eyeshadow palette that Juvia's Place has put out that is more of a neutral family of colors. As you can see, it's all the neutral everyday browns with a pop of shimmer and a pop of color. This is probably the best pop of color that you're gonna get in this palette. This is the palette that I love traveling with. This is the one that I took away with me when we went away on our anniversary weekend. And you can create actually so many looks from this eyeshadow palette. You just gotta get a little bit creative with it. What I really love about it is that it has one really dark color that you can use to build up in your crease, in your inner corner, where you just want to deepen up the look. You can even use that one dark color as your smoked out eyeliner. So you can do a fair few makeup looks with this eyeshadow palette, just keeping it more in the neutral side of eye looks. And this eyeshadow palette doesn't have names on them. So this is the first row. This is the second row. As you can see, the pigments are really, really soft, but that makes them even easier to blend out into the crease or to pat out over your eyelid. And this is the third row. The next one now is the Nubian 2. Now this is one that I absolutely love. I mean, I love every single one of these eyeshadow palettes, but the Nubian 2 is one that I have also gotten a whole lot of use out of after the Masquerade. So the Masquerade is probably the one that I have used the most, but probably because it's the one that I've had the longest. But this is the one that I would probably reach for a second after the Masquerade palette. So this one is the Nubian 2. As you can see, it has a couple pops of color and a general palette where you could really make some really interesting eye looks. What I really love about these pigments from Juvia's Place is that you can do a very beautiful eyeshadow look with not much effort. So the pigmentation and the brightness, the vivacity of each of these pigments makes it really, really easy for you to do an eyeshadow look and make it look like you put so much effort into it, but you didn't really. And it's just because the colors in each eyeshadow palette are so freaking good. So this is the first row. This is Morocco. Madagascar, Sheba, Ya, yeah. Jezebel, Zuri, oh my god, look at that, Cleopatra, <gasps> love that one, and Nefertiti, Nairobi, Layla, Kenya, Egypt. So as you can see, there are a few pops of color in this eyeshadow palette that you could use to really dress up any look. The camera really doesn't do these colors and these swatches any justice, guys. I mean, like, I know I'm a shit swatcher, <laughs> but these pigments are just so beautiful. The next palette is the Sahara. This is another one of their smaller palettes. I don't think this one comes in a larger version. This is one that I haven't really used a whole lot. I think I've really only used it a couple times and not even on my channel. So this one has a really nice black shade. I really love when an eyeshadow palette has a black shade in it or a darker shade because using a little bit of black, even just a little bit of black really changes and transforms a whole look. You can use just a tiny little bit of black eyeshadow in your outer corner to really transform any daytime look 
look into a nighttime look into something smoky vampy glampy you know just something just a little bit of black can change an entire look so this one is the saharan eyeshadow palette sokoto wadaabi Bororo kia zoya iman jamilia senegal chad katsina lulu fula so looking at these eyeshadows in the palette and even swatched on my arm, I'm not quite sure the thought process that went into the making of this color theme family, but you can still make a decent eyeshadow look out of these colors, I reckon. It's just not really something that I have gravitated towards in trying to create an eyeshadow look. I think it's simply because I'm not really feeling on how these colors are placed in the palette or even paired together. But looking at it, I can still see an eyeshadow look that you could create out of these shadows. So that's just my thoughts on the Saharan eyeshadow palette. This one is the Saharan 2. Now, I don't understand how that one was the Saharan 1 and this is the Saharan 2. The eyeshadow palettes don't even look remotely the same. Um, so that's Saharan 1 and this is the Saharan 2. Um, but I don't know, I guess they just wanted to make it a family. Maybe if you pair some of the colors together, you could create a look, I guess. In the Saharan 2, you have six massive shimmer eyeshadows and three matte ones. This one I actually really love. I do gravitate towards this one a fair bit simply because it has the deep, dark, vampy brown warm colors here. Marrakesh. That one has a bit of a shift of orange and gold. Aziza. Hadia. Berber. Nomad. Chefchaouen. Fez. Zora. Taza. I kind of feel like the vibe that I'm getting from these Saharan 2 eyeshadows or at least the shimmery ones is that a lot of them have sort of like a duochrome shift to them. As you can see, this one has a gold orange shift, this one has a teal blue shift, and this one has a gold copper shift, if you can sort of see. This one is a white, sort of like a white slash gold shift. So the shimmers in the Saharan 2 palette do have sort of like a duochrome shift to them. This one is like a white baby blue baby green sort of shift so they are actually really really beautiful pigments and i feel like juvia's place has really nailed it with these jewel chrome shifts with the saharan 2 eyeshadow palette oh my goodness my hands are getting so manky i apologize my hands already look terrible at the best of times much less swatching and touching a hundred different colors and pigments Next up is the Duce eyeshadow palette. This is one of their recent releases and this is what it looks like. It kind of reminds me like a Candyland sort of color family theme. It has those sweet little pops of color and then one dark shade there that you could use to deepen up the look if you wanted something not quite so sweet and childlike if that makes any sense. So you could create any look with these and then just sort of make it a little bit more mature with a darker color there. So this one is the Duce eyeshadow palette. And I'm pretty sure that Duce means sweet or Dolce. I know Dolce in Italian means sweet. So I have a feeling that this is kind of the vibe they were going for, something sweet and gentle, especially with the names that they have on these shades. Chocolate, Tart, Creme, Macaron, Custard, Puffs, Berry Mousse, Mont Blanc, Crepes. So as you can see, this is the Duce eyeshadow palette. It is very sweet and very dolce sort of color family. Whoever comes up with the names for these eyeshadow palettes and the, and the eyeshadow colors needs like a definite raise because they're really, really doing a really good job at it. <laughs> And whoever does the art and does the designs on each of these eyeshadows, like, I mean, they are absolutely beautiful. I would buy them for the packaging alone. So, yeah, that's another thing to remember. They'd probably be really, really good for Christmas presents. They would really make quite an impression when whoever you've gifted them to opens it up and thinks, Oh my goodness, what a beautiful, aesthetically pleasing palette. The next one is the Zulu by Juvia's Place. This one is your pops of color palette. I'm not quite sure how you could make like an eyeshadow look out of this one palette, but I have seen Instagram stories and Instagram photos where people have done that. It's just not really something that I think I could do. I, I mean, I haven't even tried. As you can see, I haven't even touched 
or swatched anything in this palette maybe just like the purple color and for some reason uh, this one the Zulu doesn't have any names on the eyeshadow shades which is really strange because all of them other than the new this one and the Nubian 2 do have eyeshadow shade names so I'm not sure what's going on there but as you can see this one is a really bright colorful fun eyeshadow palette this is the first row second row Ooh, these ones pack quite a punch and the third row I have a feeling that these matte ones are they're kind of like different formulas because they are a little bit patchy but I have not yet tried them on my eyes so they could probably apply differently on the eyes than they do swatched on the hand these matte ones do but the shimmer ones feel the same as all the other shimmer ones that I have swatched and played with in their other eyeshadow palettes. But this color family is quite beautiful. If you want to be a little bit adventurous or colorful with your look, then this is definitely something you could choose. So these are the first three row. It's like a, the warm yellowy tones, the cool blue green tones, and then the pink purple family. Just not quite something I would gravitate towards for an everyday makeup look. <laughs> the next one is The Warrior by Juvia's Place. This is what the packaging looks like and this is what it looks like on the inside. I have done a video using this eyeshadow palette on my channel before. You can create so many gorgeous looks with this eyeshadow palette. It has six shimmery shades and three matte ones. These three are the matte ones and these ones are the shimmery ones. But as you can see, it is a very gorgeous color family. You can use it for so many things. I have personally used this shade in the middle Moremi as a cheek highlight and it is absolutely beautiful. No Juvia's Place makeup look would be complete without a super bright blinding highlight. And that's what I've used this one for and it is absolutely gorgeous. Amina, Aida, Nino, Ahosi, Moremi, Kano. Dahomey Bakwa Benin. And the last eyeshadow palette that I have to share with you today is The Festival by Juvia's Place. This is what it looks like on the inside. It is another really beautiful color family. It has a couple pops of color here and then all the other ones sort of blend together in one color family which you can then dress up with these two pops of color here. Unfortunately, I do not have the Afrique or the Warrior 2 eyeshadow palettes in my possession simply because I have to stop spending money on makeup for a little while. I'm a little bit of a ban. Only until my birthday, which is the end of this month. <laughs> Izafa, Yuli, Ofala, Mamanwu, Iriji, Oro, Keleke, Aba, Odoku. As you can see, they are very bright, vibrant pigments. Definitely festival appropriate colors. And that's the festival eyeshadow palette. So that's it for the eyeshadow palettes that I have to share with you today. I also have two more palettes from Juvia's Place, but these ones are their blush volumes. This one is the Saharan Blush Volume 1 and 2. And this is what they look like. As you can see, I have not even tried this one before, simply because they are blushes that I'm not quite sure would work as blushes on me but they would actually be really pretty pigments to use as eyeshadows I'm just not sure how they would go as eyeshadows simply because I feel like blush formulas are different from eyeshadow formulas but I have used this one before and this is the blush that I'm wearing on my face today it's just a combination of these three blushes here and it's kind of faded already because I've had it on for a few hours but it applies absolutely beautiful but I'm not going to be swatching these ones today simply because they're not eyeshadow palettes, if that makes any sense. If you guys do have some Juvia's Place products and you do enjoy them, then chances are you will enjoy any other Juvia's Place product that you might purchase because I feel like the quality is the same across the board. I don't feel like any of them have any discrepancies or um, inconsistencies through the formulas of all the palettes. I feel like they use the same formula for the shimmers and the mattes all throughout. So if you have any qualms about maybe purchasing another palette from Juvia's 
this place. Then I hope this video helps you be rest assured that purchasing any of the others will still give you the same quality of any that you might already have. So yeah, I just thought it'd be great to do this video also, especially with the holiday season coming up when you might be looking for gift ideas for your friends and family. These Juvia's Place palettes are, are great at the best of times, great for birthdays or any occasion, but especially during the holiday season, it'd make a really great impact for whoever's opening up this present. When they see the beautiful packaging, I mean, look at this. They they really make quite an impression and whoever receives this would be so incredibly lucky to get one of these so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video my hands are looking quite stained and they look terrible actually and my top has a shadow dust all over it so um i hope it was worth it for you guys <laughs> comment below if you have any of these products and which one you enjoy or which one you might want to purchase juvia's place is always coming out some, with some really great new products i know that they have just launched some new highlighters um so yeah that'd be definitely good to check out and even for christmas holiday presents or even something for yourself like you don't need an excuse to buy yourself a present so yeah, i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe before you leave if you haven't already follow me on all my other social Social media Facebook Instagram and Twitter all of them are live as geek guy the same across the board thank you guys so much for watching thank you for being here and thank you so much for your time and I will see you in my next video bye I have literally used a whole packet of wipes <laughs> to do this video <laughs> each of these Juvia's place oh, birds can you hear the birds Oh my goodness, I suck at swatches. <laughs> I shouldn't have worn a white top. That was a bad idea. When they see the beautiful packaging, like, ooh.